By the end of this video, you will be able to find if any number is divisible by 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Stick around and watch till the end. Hi, I'm Nack. Hi, I'm Tack. Welcome to Nack Tack 910. Divisibility rules. Today, in this lesson, we're going to learn divisibility rules. What are divisibility rules? Okay, so tell me if 4 is divided by 2. Oh yeah, 4 divided by 2 is 2. Right, how about 24 divided by 2? Yup, that's 12. Correct, how about 3,567 divisible by 2? Hmm, that takes a while to figure that out. Exactly. So here comes out divisibility rules. These are sets of rules or shortcuts that tell us whether an integer is divisible by another without actually leaving it remainder. Wait, so divisible means dividing a number without any remainder? For example, 24 divided by 2 equals 12 with the remainder of 0. This means 24 is divisible by 2. That's absolutely right. So, in this session, we will learn some ways to instantly say if the number is divisible by 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Each one has their own rule. They're called divisibility rules. That's exciting! Can't wait for it! But, what about 1? Remember, any number divided by 1 is always the same number. Oh yeah, that's right! Any number is always divisible by 1. Let's look at divisibility rule for 2. If the number in the units place is an even number, then it's divisible by 2. So if the last digit has either 0, 2, 4, 6, or 8, then it, it's divisible by 2. For example, 32. The last digit has 2, so 32 is divisible by 2. That's right. How about these numbers? Friends, let's do this together. In 105, 5 is not an even number, so the entire number doesn't pass the test. To 120, the last digit is 0 and is even number. So this entire number is divisible by 2. 5,487. 7 is not an even a number, so the entire number doesn't pass the test. 25,887 ends with 7, and 7 is an odd number, so nope, this is not divisible by 2. 35,482, 2 is an even number. Entire number is divisible by 2. Thanks, Stack. Now let's check the divisibility rule for 3. If the sum of digits of the number is divisible by 3, then the number is divisible by 3. Say 312. Sum of digits is 3 plus 1 plus 2 is 6. So 6 is divisible by 3, which means 312 is also divisible by 3. That's easy. 786. 7 plus 8 plus 6 equals 21. 21 divided by 3 is 7. So this entire number is divisible by 3. 5,698. 5 plus 6 plus 9 plus 8 equals 28 divided by 3 equals 9. R equals 1. Nope. So this number is not divisible by 3. 3,599. 3 plus 5 plus 9 plus 9 equals 36. 36 divided by 3 equals 12. 659. 6 plus 5 plus 9 equals 20. 20 divided by 3 equals 6. R equals 2. Nope, the entire number is not divisible by 3. That's right. Let's look at divisibility rule for 4 now. 
For that, just look at the last two digits of the number. If they're divisible by 4, then the entire number is divisible by 4. 5,624. Last two digits, 24 divided by 4 equals 6. So the whole number is divisible by 4. 6,598. Last two digits, 98 divided by 4 equals 24. Remainder, 2. Negative 258. Last two digits, 58, is not divisible by 4. Nope. The whole number does not pass the test. That's correct. Let's look at divisible test for 5. This is very simple. The number is divisible by 5 if its last digit is 0 or 5. 605. Last digit is 5. So 605 is divisible by 5. 921. The number ends with 1. Nope. Does not pass the test. 860 ends with 0. So yay! This is divisible by 5. Divisibility rule for 6. If a number is divisible by both 2 and 3, then it's also divisible by 6. Let's take an example. 7,224. First, let's check if 7,224 is divisible by 2. Is it? Last digit is 4. And 4 is even number. So 7,224 is divisible by 2. Good. Now let's see if 7,224 is divisible by 3. For that, we need to add the digits of 7,224, which is 7 plus 2 plus 2 plus 4 equals 15. 15 is divisible by 3. 7,224 is also divisible by 3. This number is divisible by both 2 and 3. This means 7,224 is divisible by 6. Let's try 5,698. The last digit is 8. So this is divisible by 2. Sum of 5 plus 6 plus 9 plus 8 equals 28. Divided by 3 equals 9. Remainder 1. Nope, this is of no good. 5,698 is divisible by 2, but not within 3. So the entire number is not divisible by 6. Divisibility rule for 7. This is a little tricky. Watch carefully. Say we're testing if 483 is divisible by 7. Last digit here is 3. Double the number. 3 plus 3 is 6. The first part of the number is 48. So subtract the 6 from 48. Answer is 42. 48 minus 6 equals 42. 42 divided by 7 equals 6. So the entire number is divisible by 7. Double the last digit of the given number and then subtract it from the rest of the number. If the resulting number is divisible by 7, then the given number is divisible by 7. Let's look at another example. 529. Last number is 9. Double the number 9 plus 9 equals 18. Subtract from this the first part of the number, 52 minus 18 equals 34. 34 divided by 7 equals 4. Remainder 6. So the entire number, 529, is not divisible by 7. That's correct. Let's look at divisibility rule for 8. A number is divisible by 8 if it's divisible by both 2 and 4. Let's see if 7,120 is divisible by 8. Last digit is 0. So 7,120 is divisible by 2. Last two digits are 20. And 20 is divisible by 4. So the entire number divisible by 4. Because 7,120 is divisible by both 2 and 4, it's also divisible by 8. Divisibility rule for 9. 
A number is divisible by 9 if the sum of digits of the number is divisible by 9. Let's take an example. 279. Sum of the digits equal 2 plus 7 plus 9 equals 18. 18 is divisible by 9. So, 279 is also divisible by 9. 356. 3 plus 5 plus 6 equals 14. 14 is not divisible by 9. So, 356 is not divisible by 9. Divisibility rule for 10. A number which has 0 as its last digit is divisible by 10. Let's check if 1,230 is divisible by 10. Last digit of 1,230 is 0. So, 1,230 is divisible by 10. 5,569 this number ends with 9, and not with 0, so this is not divisible by 10. Divisibility rule for 11. This is better understood if we look at some examples. 31,823 divided by 11 equals what? So in this case, we have to add the alternating numbers, which are 3, 8, 3. So add them together, 3 plus 8 plus 3 which gives us 14. Then add the other alternating numbers, which are 1 and 2. So add those together. So 1 plus 2 equals 3. Now, let's subtract the sum of the alternating numbers, which are 14 and 3. So 14 minus 3 is 11. 11 divided by 11 is 1. So 31,823 is divisible by 11. Now, Let's look at another example. 517,692. First, add the alternating numbers. 5, 7, 9, which gives us 21. Now, add the other alternate numbers. 1, 6, and 2, which gives us 9. So, subtract the two sums of the equations. 21 minus 9 gives us 12. 12 is not divisible by 11. That means... 517,692 is not divisible by 11. Here's what we learned today. Divisibility rule for 1, it's always divisible by any integer or number. For 2, a number is divisible by 2 if its last digit is 0, 2, 4, 6, or 8. A number is divisible by 3 if the sum of all digits is divisible by 3. A number is divisible by 4 if its last two digits is divisible by 4. For 5, if its last digit is 0 or 5. A number is divisible by 6 if it's divisible by 2 and 3. A number is divisible by 7 if we double the value of the last digit and then subtract the result from the rest of the number. The answer is divisible by 7. A number is divisible by 8 if the number is divisible by 2 and 4. For 9, a number is divisible by 9 if the sum of all its digits are divisible by 9. For 10, if the last digit is 0. For 11, difference of the sums of the alternate digits is divisible by 11. Friends, keep practicing and solving worksheets so you master these divisibility rules.